Hello guys, today we are going to deploy Linux web server popularly known as the Apache server on your Amazon Linux machine using the Amazon web services EC2 service. Now before we jump into configuring your Linux uh, server, we are going to understand what is your EC2. So EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. That is a service used for deploying your servers. Okay. If you want to deploy a game server, if you want to deploy an app server, for any kind of server need, EC2 is your go-to person. So let's go ahead and configure your EC2 machine for your Linux. And then we are going to connect with your Linux and deploy, configure our web server. So let's go ahead. So click on services, click on compute, click on EC2. Click on launch instance, click on launch instance. And here it is expecting us to enter a name. So let's enter a name. I'll call it Linux Apache Demo. So let's let this be the name. Now we are going to go ahead with Amazon Linux. Okay. So this is the AMI. So what is an Amazon machine image or you popularly call it AMI? Well, in the layman terms, you can consider it this to be an operating system. Okay. Then we have your instance type. What is instance type? It is your virtual hardware. That how much RAM, how much CPU, how much network bandwidth, this type of things can be selected. So we can select it according to our requirement. So you can go with t2.micro as it is free tier eligible. However, there are so many options to choose from. So it is totally your call, whichever you want to go for. Right now, I'm interested in your free tier eligible. So let's I'll go ahead with this free tier eligible. Next up. We have your key pair, so we can generate a new key pair. So because key pair is just like your password, so we are going to create a new key pair. So click on create new key pair, and I'll create a key pair called as Linux uh, demo. I'll call it Linux demo. Okay, you can call it anything that you want. Right now, I'm interested with the RSA algorithm, and we are going to keep the private key for a file format as .pem. Click on create key pair. Okay, so you can see as soon as I click on create key pair, the Linux demo key pair has been downloaded. So now what we can do here is your network settings. Click on edit. We'll go with the default networking aspect, but we are going to configure the security group, which acts as a firewall. Now, what is a firewall? Firewall. So whatever traffic, if you want to block or if you want to allow a traffic to a particular port, then you are going to work with your firewall. So let's go ahead and configure this firewall. Right now, I'm going to create a security group and give the name to the security group. So I'll call it Linux Demo Security Group. So this is the name I'm giving. So description, if you want to give any particular description, you can go ahead and give it. Otherwise, you can keep it like this. Only. Then we have your port that is going to be for SSH. So we are going to allow the SSH connection. Why? Because if you want to take a remote connection with your Linux server, then we are going to make a SSH connection, which works on port number 22. So we are going to add this along with this i'm going to add one more port that is going to be your http port why i'm adding this http port because i want to allow the traffic to my web server also so that is going to be http and it's going to work on port number 80 and the source type is going to be anywhere that means anywhere on the internet it should be able to receive the traffic so that is going to be anywhere storage so minimum is 8 gb however the free tier eligible customers can go up to 30 so i'll keep it 25 gb so it is up to you. You can keep it 3,000 also, 30,000 also. It's totally your call. So we'll go with 25 GB and I think that's it. So click on launch instance. So we have launched our instance. So you can see it is in the pending state. So let it be up and running. So you can see it is up and running. So now what we can do? We can select your instance, copy the public IP, and we are going to launch the PowerShell. So search for PowerShell. So we have PowerShell. So PowerShell is ha already having the SSH uh, command already installed in it. So I'm going to take advantage of that. So I'm going to write the command SSH space hyphen I space downloads space your key pair. So that was Linux demo.pem okay this was the key pair name now i'm going to write the username so username is going to be ec2 hyphen user at the rate of ip address hit enter 
it is it is asking you do you want to make a connection yes i want to make the connection and we will be connected so we are connected to the amazon linux 2023 version now let's go ahead and try to configure the web server so control l to clear the screen so the command to install the web server so first of all we need to install the web server then we are going to configure it so let's go ahead and configure uh, let's go ahead and install it sudo yum install http star space hyphen y so what is this command sudo is going to be called as for running as administrator as we have in windows yum that is stands for yellow dog update modifier it is a utility if you want to install uninstall a particular command of particular service then you are going to go ahead with yum right now the feature that i want to work for for is installation and http star is the name of the package that is required to install the web server so right now we are going and hyphen y is for confirmation so let's go ahead and hit enter so it is going to install it so you can see we have already we have installed it now so you can see the status is complete now what we are going to do we are going to push our own code so let's go ahead so we are going to go into the directory cd space slash var www html so this is the directory where we are going to put our code so let's create our code so sudo vi index.html okay so we are going to so what is the vi vi it is a editor so we can easily put our code we can easily write a code it is just a text editor so let's go ahead and do that so we are going into the insert mode and enter your code so if you are a develop web developer then definitely you can enter your own code however if you are not into web development you don't know anything about html css so you can just enter a normal plain text so that will do the trick for us okay hope you are liking this demo okay so this is the thing that i want to display to the world so what i'll do i'll escape save the file and that's it okay now it's time to start the server okay so how to start the server sudo systemctl start httpd so this is the server this is the name httpd is the sub, uh, is the service name that we want to start so we are going to start the server and we are going to enable the server we are going to enable the server after enabling the server we are going to check whether the server is up and running without any problem or not so how to check that sudo systemctl status httpd and it will say active and running that means it is perfectly running fine for us now it's time to check whether it is uh, uh, working for us whether it is loading our code or not so for that we have curl command so curl space http colon slash slash localhost so why i'm reporting localhost so if the server is responding to the localhost then definitely it will respond in the public internet as well so you can see you can see it is exactly showing your code okay it is exactly showing your code that means our server is configured now it's time to showcase our work to the world so we are going to copy the public ip again open a new tab paste it here and there we go now you can share this ip with your family and friends and you can showcase your world to uh, showcase your work to the world hope you enjoyed this demo have a good day